What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I would like to make an announcement that I'm releasing today my final uh, course where I take a simple house from the basically stage where I have just a sketch on, on a piece of paper to a complete Revit model that's ready for construction. So this is the final one, this is part 5 and in this week's course I'm going to be covering how to do all of the final uh, final title blocks and all of the sheets. So before we can go to that I needed to create some other elements so if I just go here to the final sheets I've done basically two sheets and here we have that floor plan that I've already created in one of the previous courses. I've got this section as well as well as this exploded 3D diagram and then in this course I'm going to be showing you how to create this window schedule as well as the window legend. They basically work in conjunction because here you need to see what all of the elements look like and here you have some technical data like the width, height, sill height as well as the cost. And then here we have a little cost calculation in the end on how much the windows are going to cost for this building. Also, I show you how to customize the title block in Revit and how to add all of the information. Now, this information wasn't added in manually. It was basically taken from our project information over here on the Manage tab. So I've, I show you how to set up all of the project information and then it's automatically transferred over here to the title block. Moving on to the next panel, this is the presentation panel and here I show you how to create a room schedule that contains all of the floor finishes as well as the area and all of that. Also for both of these schedules I show you how to customize them so not only will they uh, basically contain all of the necessary information but also and calculate everything that needs to be calculated but also uh, they look nice, they have a specific uh, Basically, I change the font, I change the color of text, and I make some adjustments just to make everything look nice. Also, I, when putting this here on this uh, piece of paper, we've added a little simple rendering as well as this site plan. Now, this rendering is quite simple, but already on my Patreon, I have uh, already two courses on advanced rendering using the same house project, so uh, I don't go over that in this course, but there's already two hours of content on that topic. So that's what I'm going to be covering in this week's course. So if you want to get access to that, I suggest you check out my Patreon first link in the description of this video. So there you can find part one through five, so five parts on this. Also, you can download this Revit project file as well as all of my other Revit project files. I've got over 300 already and also I've got a lot more advanced courses. This is like my 17th advanced course and I've got more or on uh, various advanced topics in Revit and they're all one hour or longer. So if that's something that you might be interested in, I suggest you check out my Patreon. Also, there this week I'm going to be creating a uh, little voting, so it's going to be a poll and there you can vote for what's going to be the topic of the next week's advanced course. So that's something uh, that I'm looking forward to see how you guys react. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this little uh, announcement. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, like and share this video. And I'll be coming back with another regular Balkan Architect tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.